All right, welcome back. This is Get for the Impatient, so let's just get right into it, no pun intended. <clears throat> if you wanna start using version control in Git, but you don't wanna learn everything there is to learn yet, it's pretty simple to get started, okay? You've got some directory that you're gonna have some files in that you want version control on. So to do that, to start tracking those files, just type git init, okay? Then to add files that you wanna track, just do git add and then the name of the file, okay? You can also run git status to see that you've added a new file and that you have changes to be committed, okay? So then if you just do git commit dash am and then a message like initial commit, then <clears throat> you've saved a snapshot of all of the files that you are tracking in this directory, okay? You can add new files by just doing git add and then whatever your new file name is. But if you wanna modify <coughs> a file and then save those modifications, right? Like right here, I'm just deleting that conclusion because it's not important. <coughs> you make your modifications, save your file, and then <clears throat> just do git commit. Well, you can see if I run git status again, that'll say that, that file's been modified. To <clears throat> take a snapshot of that file in its current state, just run that git commit command again with a new message saying what you did. Okay, now we've got those two snapshots and uh, when you learn more about git, you'll learn how to review those changes and do all that stuff. But we're saving our work, we're saving versions, we're doing the things that we want to be doing, we can figure out the rest later. Okay. So the only problem with all of this is that all of this is local. So if your hard drive crashes, you will lose all of your work. So the way to have some remote backups is generally people use GitHub or a lot of people do. And if you sign up for a GitHub account, that's super easy. I'm not gonna go over that. <clears throat> the next thing that you need to do is figure out if you have SSH keys. So in either git bash on Windows or just in your regular terminal on another machine, run ls-al <clears throat> whoops, ssh. Okay, now if you see a file ending in .pub, you don't have to do anything else. Otherwise, run just ssh keygen and then just hit enter for all of the defaults <clears throat> and now if we do that ls command again you'll see that it generated this id underscore rsa dot pub key okay and it generated a public private key pair this is the public version and this is the private version you don't need to worry about what all that means you just need to know that if you go into your github account click on settings and then click on SSH and GPG keys, you can add a new SSH key. You probably won't have one right here like that, like you already do. And then just type my a title for it, right? So my video key, and then paste the contents of that .pub file in here and click add SSH key, okay? And then what you're want to get going to want to do is create a new repository by clicking new repository from that little drop down menu. I'm going to call mine git notes. I'm going to make it public so that other people can see it. And then I'm going to create the new repository. Okay, and then just make sure that you're not on the HTTPS version, you're on the SSH version. And then 
copy this line paste it in your right go into your directory that you're doing version control on paste it <clears throat> and then run git push origin master and my firewall is acting up and now you've saved your work on github not just that current version of the file but the history as well so then all you have to do is remember your workflow use git add to add new files to track run git commit dash am and then the message in double quotes to create a new commit that's a snapshot of all the files you're currently tracking in their current version. And then whenever you want to upload the history to GitHub, just run git push origin master. So <clears throat> that's it. Uh, <clears throat> you can uh, like this video if you liked it. Hit dislike if you didn't like it. In either case, leave a comment down below letting me know why, as well as if you've got any questions, criticisms, or concerns. And as always, if you want to get notified when I make new videos, hit subscribe. Thanks. Peace.